Hey guys, so I wanted to share something with you that happened recently. So first of all, I get a lot of messages from people and they're always so, so kind. Thank you so much for every single one of you who send me such lovely messages. It really means a lot to me. But sometimes I get the odd kind of um, negative message. Maybe in the last 10 years, I've had about three or four. Um, so recently I had one and um, it was a girl who wrote to me and she said, Melody, I just have a question. How are you with your small eyes and your uneven eyebrows and your ugly face so happy? Like, why are you so happy with a husband who's better looking than you? Like, how are you like so happy with life and how are you so confident? Can you share your secrets? so that I can be happy too, because I'm not happy and I'm more, more beautiful than you. And actually, to be fair, I did look at her profile picture and she was really pretty, she's really pretty. So anyway, the question just kind of like took me by surprise and I sent her voice notes. I sent her a voice note and I said, first of all, why are you attaching beauty to happiness? The two things are not necessarily attached. In fact, they're not attached at all. One does not depend on the other. Um, that's the first thing. And second thing, you could have asked me this question in such a nicer way without disrespecting me. Not that you've affected me, because as you say, having confidence means that there's something within me of how I view myself. I mean, I have a mirror. I know what I look like. I know what I don't look like. And, and it's a perception. Beauty is a perception anyway. So what other people's views don't affect me. They have a right to their view. Everyone has a right to their view. So whether a person thinks that, yeah, you know, she's beautiful or she's not beautiful, it doesn't affect how I view myself. But, you know, there was a nicer way of you asking me this. So that's that. And then she started apologizing. She said, you know, you're right. I'm really sorry. Um, you know, and, and you know, I should have asked this better. And, um, and, and, you know, that was lovely. And then she said to me, can you just help me though? Can you say something to help me? And, and I was like, well, I don't know you, but I can say something general to you. And, and here's the thing that I think is useful for everybody is that, look, never try and find your happiness and the answer to life within someone else. Find that within yourself. Find happiness and being enough within yourself so that one day no one can steal that and take, take it away with them. You know, don't search for answers and happiness within other people. Other relationships are important. The one you have with your husband, partner, whomever, your mother, your father, your children. All of these relationships are vital relationships in life that mean a lot to us. But they're in addition to our life. They're in addition to what we have in our soul. It's not the you know, finding the answers of life and happiness, it, the answer lies here, you know, within my relationship with a guy or whatever, you know, so I think that's an issue and, you know, always try and find that happiness within yourself now and, you know, bless her, like we had a great conversation and she was so grateful and, you know, and I, I felt really bad for her because obviously, you know, I know that if you're feeling good within yourself and you're happy, you're not going to go and say that to someone. Only when you're struggling and you're down, would you say such a thing to somebody? So I didn't want to, you know, come at her, like try and, you know, belittle her or try and ruin her. That doesn't make me feel good and it wouldn't make her feel good. It doesn't resolve anything. It doesn't solve anything. And this way, you know, you, you can disarm people with kindness and that teaches people a lot. And I think the reason I wanted to share this is because whether you've experienced this or whether in future you may experience this, um, I think it's really good to perhaps behave differently to get a better, um, you know, outcome for everybody from this. So, that's all. So anyway, have, have a lovely day and uh, hope that was useful.